In this video, I want to go through everything you guys need to know about the release of Cold War Zombies' new DLC 1 map, Firebase Z. I want to break down a bunch of more information from that gameplay video that we got earlier today, go more in-depth as to what was revealed, and also go through the download and release times for Firebase Z. This map is releasing tomorrow night, so we have to get through all of the information you guys need to know about how to download the map, when you could play play the map when the easter eggs unlock and all of the cool new features added in firebase z so if you can leave a like in the video if you're hyped for firebase z let me know down below if we can go for 1000 likes on this video that'd be amazing and if you can subscribe to the channel if you're new i would really really appreciate that let's get started here first with the information on playing and downloading firebase z and the easter egg time it's very important again this map is releasing tomorrow night here are the times. It's Wednesday, February 3rd, 11 p.m. Pacific time, and then Thursday, February 4th, 12 a.m. Mountain, 1 a.m. Central, 2 a.m. Eastern, and also in the morning, 7 a.m. UK, 3 p.m. Australian Western, 5 p.m. Australian Eastern, and then 8 p.m. New Zealand time. If you guys have any other times, leave them down below. Any other time zones you want me to include in future videos like this, leave them down below as well. I definitely want to help you guys out with this, and this is when the update will be available and also when you'll be able to play firebase z and it's happening all at this time now the easter egg as you guys know is not unlocking until february 5th this friday at these times here you'll be able to play the easter egg the easter egg for firebase z will unlock at 9 a.m pacific time 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. UK, 1 a.m. Australian Western, 3 a.m. Australian Eastern, and 6 a.m. New Zealand. At these times, there will be a playlist update within Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and this will unlock the Easter egg for Firebase Z Friday during the day and late afternoon, and for some of you guys in the early, early morning. Uh, so super, super cool there. Those are all the times you need to know for this new update, and especially with Firebase base z very quickly before we get into any more information i posted this very important youtube community post here i said serious question are y'all rocking with misty just got off the phone with her she said if this gets to 1000 likes she's coming back to cold war zombies so i left a link to this post down below definitely be sure if you haven't already go like this post if you want misty from black ops 2 zombies to return into cold war zombies as an operator i think it would be so cool i would love to see these characters return into the game i did a poll recently also on my youtube community tab where i said which old zombies crew would you want to see return in the game as operators and it's actually very interesting the victus crew with misty stoolinger marlton and russman is in a tie for first with the premise crew so if you guys want to vote in that as well i think it's already too late but be sure you're subscribed with the bell on so you always get notified when we have some new polls and stuff like that on the youtube channel community tab so let's go through here some more information about firebase z again today Treyarch released a four and a half minute video of a bunch of really cool stuff here actual gameplay of firebase z and they go through a bunch of new features we didn't know about i did my live reaction earlier today made that a video and i did an initial breakdown as to the main things that we were looking at in that video but here i want to go more in depth on different topics here different things expand upon more as to what we're seeing with firebase z and the first thing i want to talk about is actually something that craig houston said at the end of this video so if you guys missed it Craig Houston gave us kind of a sneak peek as to his thoughts on the future DLC season for Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and I want to play a clip as to what he said because he seems super, super hyped for what we're going to be getting the next couple of weeks and months for Zombies content. When we started this Dark Ether story, it was, it was kind of daunting in some ways because, you know, uh, a lot of us have been working on Zombies since the beginning, and that's where the excitement, particularly with this fresh start and the dark ether story has been kind of reinvigorating for the team i don't think i've ever felt as excited about post-launch seasons of content as i do this year i think people are probably when they get to the end of this they're going to look back at what we've done and go i did not see that coming 
Now, Eric Maynard over on Twitter said this about the way Craig was talking there. He says, the way Craig talks about the rest of the season gives me chills, man. I've rewatched this a dozen times at least, and it really did feel so good knowing that as a Zombies fan, sometimes we are just the third game mode, and everything else is just more important in the new Call of Duty, and Zombies is kind of just there. I mean, they love us. They like to give us good content, but it always seems like Call of Duty has more important things to do and worry about but this here Craig is really saying the introduction of the Dark Ether storyline is allowing his team at Treyarch to do so much more and they feel reinvigorated with the Dark Ether storyline and I've been saying this I mean the Dark Ether storyline is so freeing for them because they don't need to really worry about what happens back in the Ether storyline back in the past they were really constrained as to what they could do, where the storyline was heading, and for Black Ops 4 Zombies, I can only imagine how difficult it was to actually end the Aether storyline in a way that everyone would enjoy and found reasonable, but now with the Dark Aether storyline, you could use all of the cool stuff we saw from the past, but create and write a whole new storyline with anything. The possibilities are endless here, the locations to where we can go to are endless, so I am so hyped for the DLC season here. And he also says people are going to look back and say I did not see that coming which means that they really have a good season for us in store and they're really going to be giving us a lot of good content stuff that we're not expecting now we're expecting or at least hoping for some type of Zombies Chronicles 2 are they saying that you know what we're not only going to give you that, we're going to give you a lot more than you could even imagine. Again, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. I don't want to get too hyped, but I do think... This year, probably going to be one of the best years we've seen for a Treyarch Zombies game. So, super, super hyped for that. And leave your comments down below. What do you want to see in terms of future DLC content? New operators, Zombies-specific battle pass, Zombie Chronicles 2 maps, new original maps, anything you guys have, any ideas, leave those comments down below. Now, let's talk about Firebase Z. Some more stuff here. I do want to mention the relations that they have to Moon and Garad Krovi are super cool. It's kind of interesting to see that they took inspiration from those two maps. Out of all the maps in the past, they were like, you know what? A lot of these Garad Krovi features are pretty cool. People love the map. Let's bring them in the game. Moon, such an iconic map from Black Ops 1 Zombies. A lot of people probably haven't played the map, and let's give a little bit of a callback to Moon with the Pack-a-Punch, the spawn room, the map being split up, the Pack-a-Punch being in the first main spawn area, and the rest of the map being in the other combat-based portion of Firebase Z. Super, super cool to see how that's going to work, and I do hope there are a bunch of other relations and callbacks to Moon. Moon was such an interesting innovative and just interesting map and hopefully they really did take inspiration from how moon worked what you had to do on moon the different layout for moon and bring that over to firebase z the relations to garad krovi are obvious and even more significant you have the russian mangler which is just one of the main zombie bosses in the map and it's pretty much identical to what we saw to garad krovi you have these collection units that zombies will attack when you're turning on the power after you activate the ether reactor in firebase z you have to go to these two or multiple collection units and protect them from zombies very very similar to what we saw with the Groff modules in Garad Krovi. Uh, you also have some stuff here with the assault rounds. Pretty much what we saw with the lockdown step in Garad Krovi. Now, we don't exactly know how these assault rounds are going to work because it says objective started. So, I'm assuming that you have to opt into the assault rounds. You have to actually activate it. But it also could be where the assault rounds happen randomly and that still is an issue with some people people are saying well you know this seems kind of interesting but how often is it going to happen is it replacing x filling because think about it x filling can occur every five rounds so there's no way we're getting an assault round every five rounds that would seem way too often so it would make more sense if it's something where you opt into it so instead of x filling you do an assault round and if you fully complete this crazy insane assault round then the game ends although in the video they kind of make it seem like these assault rounds happen randomly so i really don't know what to expect leave your comments down below what do you want these assault rounds to be like overall it seems like they're not going to be a big deal even if they do occur every 10 rounds or so i really don't think it's going to be a big deal it seems like you just post up you make sure you have kill streaks you kill all the zombies coming out of the teleporters and then you'll be good it really doesn't seem 
too big of a deal there and i like that they're changing up the gameplay style of this map keeping things interesting definitely always a good thing now let's also talk about these special rounds on firebase z how are the special rounds going to work like what exactly is going to happen here are the assault rounds taking the place of the former play count rounds will you get a max ammo at the end of the assault rounds and also are the hellhounds returning to the game Let's say we also have the dog rounds in this game on top of the assault rounds. Will the dog rounds include the hellhounds or will we go back to the plague hounds? And I personally think we really might see the hellhounds in this new map. We haven't seen anything in the trailer or in any videos. We haven't seen the plague hounds or the hellhounds but you guys probably know recently we got a blueprint revealed to us from Treyarch that explains omega group pretty much discovering the hellhounds the creation of the hellhounds and it would kind of make sense with the theme and fit the vibe of this map firebase z a lot more than the plague hounds do i think the plague hounds were good for g machina but hellhounds the original hellhounds for sure fit in firebase z at least in my opinion you can leave your comments down below on that but i really do think if they're going to be in this map, they're going to be in this map. They're not going to be in any other map. Like, this map is just for the Hellhound. So, we'll see if they're there on this new map. I also want to talk about the Pack Punch camo in Firebase Z. Now, you could have actually missed this, but if you look at around the Assault Wave part of the new Firebase Z video, you could see that this is the same exact Pack Punch camo from Dean Machina. And a lot of people are wondering, well, are we going to have the same pack camos for every single Cold War Zombies DLC map? Because that would be kind of boring. It's nice to see a new Zombies map with some new, unique Pack-a-Punch camos. And I do think they could do some really cool stuff with the Vietnam theme and have some crazy, fiery flame camos and just all different cool stuff like that. I, You know, they could do a lot of cool stuff. So hopefully that was just a placeholder for the trailer for the video we got today. And once we actually get into Firebase Z, we have some sick new camos. It's just a little thing that makes the map unique from the rest. When you're playing Fire base c you pack a bunch of weapon you know that you're gonna get this really cool camo that you could only get on firebase z that's pretty much it here for this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know down below if you're hyped for firebase z leave a comment below firebase z if you watch the whole video it is greatly greatly appreciated i want to thank you guys for supporting the channel it's been actually unreal i know i say this every video but it's literally been insane uh you know black ops cold war has really brought me to a new level and i want to thank you guys for joining the channel and supporting me and i'm gonna keep on grinding man a lot of cool stuff happening treyarch is blessing it this year treyarch is giving us so much good content i'm just so happy that we're in this position Firebase C is coming out. The rest of Cold War Zombies looks like it's going to be super, super fun. I just want to thank you guys for being here along the way. So seriously, thank you guys for watching the channel. Shout out especially to the YouTube channel members. As always, thank you guys for supporting me all these months. Uh, I really do appreciate that as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow night for the Firebase Z reveal stream. Super, super excited and can't wait to play Firebase Z with you guys as well. Uh, should be insanely fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.